है ही सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ साइक्लिस्ट एक्सेलरेट्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एट वन इंस्टेंट व्हेन द साइक्लिस्ट इज एक्सर्टिंग अ फॉरवर्ड फोर्स ऑफ 40 न्यूटन द एयर रेजिस्टेंस एक्टिंग ऑन द साइक्लिस्ट इज 10 न्यूटन बैकवर्ड फोर्स व्हाट इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ द साइक्लिस्ट एट दिस इंस्टेंट रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम now this is one of those questions for which i praise international baccalaureate um the teachers for creating such a beautiful question i tell you this is a highly conceptual question and there is no set formula for that but only if you know the underground the, you know the basics of uh, physics then these things are very very easy for you otherwise these things are like they are so deep that you won't be able to even understand what what is being asked in the question i tell you see what are they asking here they are asking the rate of change of momentum first of all majority of the students will fail in writing like what is this see rate of change of momentum is delta b by delta t basically this is what they want rate of change of momentum they don't want momentum they don't want you to find change in momentum they don't want you to find the anything else they want you to find the rate of change in momentum so it is delta p by delta t so by definition as given by newton newton's second law the force is defined as rate of change of momentum so this is basically equal to f net f net and what is f net now 40 newton is forward force and 10 newton is the backward force so what is f newton simple it is 40 newton minus 10 newton so what are you getting you getting 30 newton 30 newton it's that straightforward now you would be like how easy is this question is but this uh, concept the delta b by delta t is equal to f net that seldom clicks in our mind when teachers ask this question to us okay so that makes this question difficult so delta p by delta t is equal to f net and this is 30 so our answer will be 30 and what is this this is not newton anyways we will see the unit of the force the unit of force is kg meter per second square mass into acceleration kg meter per second square which is also known as newton okay so this is same as newton so kg meter per second square answer is b let us verify from the mark scheme absolutely the answer is b i hope this should be very clear if it is yet not clear please do let me know in the comment section all the best